Earlier today, President Obama picked up the phone and called his rival, Mitt Romney. Governor Romney clinched the Republican nomination last night after a big win in the Texas primary. Mr. Obama called to congratulate him, and with that call, we thought we would look at the state of the contest. And is it close? These states that you see in blue are states that will most likely vote for President Obama. The states in red are solidly for Romney. The gold for both candidates is found in the battleground states. Each of these could go either way. 270 electoral votes are needed to win. Our CBS News Elections and Polling Unit estimates that Obama can count on 212, Romney can rely on 191, and 135 are up for grabs. John Dickerson is our political director. He's been traveling in the toss-up states of Ohio and Florida. And John, let's start with Ohio. What's the picture there? Ohio, with its 18 electoral votes, is dead even, according to the polls, between the two candidates. The unemployment rate is 7.4 percent, which is a little below the national rate of 8.1. The president says the auto bailout he supported has revived the car industry, which Democrats say is connected to one in eight jobs in the state. But a recent poll of Ohio voters shows those who think the economy is getting better credit the Republican governor, not President Obama. A group to watch in Ohio is blue-collar white voters. The Obama team has been appealing to them with ads saying when Mitt Romney was a CEO, he put people like them out of work. The president may not win a majority of blue-collar voters, but in these battleground states where it's so close, losing some voter groups by a smaller margin is as much a key to winning as doing well with your core supporters. And what are you finding out in Florida? There, the picture's not as good on the ec economy for the president. The unemployment rate is 8.7, worse than the national figure, and the state's still reeling from the housing crisis. Florida is so complex, maybe the most complex state. As one veteran said, it's like three different states and two countries. You've got the Republicans do well in the northern part. Democrats have the south around Miami, and they fight over those swing voters in the middle from Tampa to Orlando. Cubans support Republicans, but non-Cuban Hispanics are now a larger group. The president will do well with those non-Cuban Hispanic voters, but Romney has his own strong group, seniors, who have a very negative view, Scott, about the president's health care plan. John, thank you very much.